Thank you very much. Um, and I want to um, especially thank the Lantos Institute for this wonderful gathering. Um, honored guest, Your Excellencies. I'm honored to be here as chair of the International Holocaust Remembrance Alliance and to participate in this important gathering. On my last visit to Hungary, I had the opportunity to meet and speak with a number of people at a practical and political level. I was also moved by the impressive events that I attended and felt particularly honored to have had the privilege to take part in commemorative commemorations the National Memorial Day of the Hungarian Victims of the Holocaust. I'd like to thank Tom Lantos Institute for inviting me to participate to this conference. I look forward to hearing from distinguished speakers who are speaking at this conference. As you know, the Holocaust was the most extreme manifestation of anti-Semitism the world has ever seen. It rested firmly on the foundation of religious prejudice and a century of anti-Semitic speeches. Petty violence, vandalism, and failure of effective government action. Without looking too hard, we can now see some of these dangers getting around today, whether directed against the Jews or against the Jewish state. Canadian Prime Minister Stephen Harper once said, while the Holocaust stands alone, it does not stand isolated. It is but the most hellish chapter in the long and continuing history of anti-Semitism. Each of us has a role in helping the world remember not only what happened, but why, how hate and intolerance transforms neighbors into victims, and perpetrators. It was in the spirit of keeping the memory alive that IRA came into being in 1998. It is the only intergovernmental body devoted exclusively to the memory of the Holocaust and is unique in that it consists of government officials and non-government Holocaust experts, academics, museum professionals, educators, and researchers. Its 31 member states are governed by the principles of the Stockholm Declaration, which emphasizes the importance of upholding the terrible truths of the Holocaust against those who deny it, and of preserving the memory of the Holocaust. Our work focuses on international cooperation in the three principal areas of IRA, education, remembrance, and research. Holocaust education is an essential tool in overcoming ignorance and hate. Through an annual IRA grant program, we supported hundreds of educational projects all over the world. And IRA education experts have developed comprehensive guidelines for teaching about the Holocaust, published in 18 languages, which are being used by dozens of school systems around the world. A clear and well-informed understanding of the Holocaust helps students think about the use and abuse of power and the role and responsibilities of individuals, organizations, and nations when confronted with human rights viola violations. Survivors bearing witness to their personal stories have been an int integral part of Holocaust education and remembrance. The preservation of their oral and written testimonies is a particular important at a time when anti-Semitism and Holocaust denials are on the rise. Promoting a culture of remembrance is also critical. With the generation of Holocaust survivors and death camp liberators now reaching their 80s and 90s, the window is closing on those able to provide eyewitness accounts. An extraordinary amount has been achieved in IRA member states to ensure that Holocaust has a permanent place in national memories. Particular importance is attached to memorials of, at historical sites, 
memorial museums, and the implementation of a National Holocaust Remembrance Day. IRS experts develop guidelines for commemorative ev events to ensure that there are links between those events and their necessary educational components. Archival material also facilitates histor historical memory. These records are important to help shed light on the Holocaust and its motivating forces. Evidence suggests that hundreds of millions of documents related to the Holocaust history still remain inaccessible in both private and public state archives around the world. This is why one of the main focus of IRA research activities is accessibility of Holocaust era archives in both member and non-member states. These archive, archival collections have tremendous memorial, moral, and scholarly significance. There will be a profound value in revealing the fates of the estimated 17.5 million people touched by the tyranny of the Nazi regime. On research, killing sites outside of the major death camps are an emerging area of inquiry. More than 2.5 million Jews and thousands of Roma Sinti people in Eastern Europe were killed between 1941 and 1944 by what Father Patrick Dubois has called the Holocaust by bullets. Hundreds, even thousands of these sites of mass murder have yet to be identified, marked, or memorialized. IRA will bring together institutions working in this area an international conference in Poland next January to consider opportunities for cooperation and further work in the field. During my chairmanship, I am pursuing partnership with other international bodies that focus on different aspects of Holocaust memorialization in order to better align our efforts. Bodies like the UN, the OSCE, UNESCO, the Claims Conference, the Council of Europe, and the European Union for Fundamental Rights. I am also working with IRA observer countries, Portugal, the former Yugoslav Republic of Macedonia, Bulgaria, and Turkey, to encourage the ascension to full membership and continue to outreach to other non-members to encourage participation, such as with Ukraine and the Holy See. For without a doubt, it is through working in cooperation that we are able to reach around the world to ensure that important universal lessons of the Holocaust are remembered, disseminated, and applied. It is vital that we learn from the Holocaust and are empowered to shape an inclusive society based on respect for diversity and the protection and promotion of fundamental human rights. Thank you for the opportunity to speak to you today.